Hi there guys, my name is Chris Wilson from Raptor Maps. Today we're on site here in New York. We're going to be going over how to inspect the solar farm with the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advance. All right, so today we're going to go over the DJI Pilot setup here on the smart controller. So open DJI Pilot. And you have two options, manual flight for your normal flying around and then mission flight for the actual planning process. So you have mission flight. There's create a route in the top left corner. And you have four options, waypoint, mapping, oblique, and linear. We'll start with mapping for this uh, mission here. And it's going to populate a site that we're currently at today. So you tap on the site. We'll have this overlay setting here. First off, we're going to change this blue rectangle to the actual flight area. Kind of rough. Roughly like so. We're going to go to these options in the top right corner, these two arrows. And there's a bunch of settings in here we'll go over individually. Top uh, setting is camera type. It says Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced Thermal. For the photo mode, go distance interval. So we're going to go over to altitude here and set that for 135 feet. Uh, takeoff speed, you can leave what you want. Uh, I'm going to use like, roughly below 10. For flight speed, we'll add up later, uh, depending on the actual overlap settings, it'll change. Uh, upon completion, I prefer hover, you can choose what you like. Under advanced settings, we have the overlap settings. So ours is 70 and 20, which is 70 side and then 20 front. Over here on the course angle is the actual direction of the green lines, so we're going to change that to be horizontal to the actual panels. It's kind of roughly accurate there. And then you scroll down the margins how far it goes into the blue circle, or blue uh, rectangle. So we're going to go with the green uh, zero. That's basically what we're looking at for our manual mission. So left side here is save button, go ahead and tap on that. Now it's saved. So if you go back to the top of the corner here, you can see mapping one, that's when we just created. So with this mission, when you fly it, it's going to constantly turn towards the uh, next waypoint every time. So you must yaw the aircraft back to the original heading you need to be perpendicular to the panels facing towards the panel road. Yep. Right, so we're going to go through the actual process of yawing the aircraft when it gets to the end of a row. As you can see here, it's currently paused with the pause button. It's about to hit the row and then turn twice and then hit the next row. So we're going to go ahead and unpause. And as I do that, the aircraft's going to turn. I'm going to yaw it straight as it comes down. At this point right here, it's going to turn really hard. And then I'm going to hit pause again, line it up, and continue. So I'll show you guys that in, in full motion. So aircraft's unpaused. It's going to yaw. Look at the bottom left corner where the aircraft is. See the, air, the uh, camera facing upwards? It's going to yaw again. Hit pause. Yaw it until it's vertical like so. And then hit pause again. Now it's going to be horizontal to the plane. So your goal is to keep the aircraft facing the correct direction in the bottom left corner here so that it comes onto the row with the imagery uh, correctly angled, which is from left to right like it is now. A small adjustment there. And then between the rows you just wait and at the end you have the next turn between those two.